Okay, so welcome back. So, let's continue onward, see if we can get out of this area. And then we have a dragon that we need to kill, because we like killing dragons. Dragons are fun. Kit destroy. damage. The lower my HP, the more damage I do, so. The problem is, is Yuli's such a good healer now that she doesn't ever let me get low. <laughs> they did just do a 213 crit, which is nice. Caesar got KO'd. KO is funny, because I think a KO is like knocked out, but it's not quite what happens in this game. It's more like a stun. There we go. That's two ice dragon beards. Are the knights just tools of destruction then? It depends on how you use them. I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that. That's for us to decide. I'm afraid so. At least in the legends. Alright, nothing else to gather, so let's continue onward. I think we're pretty much in the clear now. Yep. Looks good. It's gotta be enemies here though. Yep. Some dogs. How's this? Jackals. That was a nice crit. How's this? Yay, Caesar leveled up to 31. Nice. Oh, who did that? Is that me? No. Someone hit for 240 damage, which is insane. Let's Once gather these flowers. Not really flowers. Well, I guess they are flowers on top of the cactus. <laughs> well then. I stand corrected. Yeah, you go ahead. I got the rear. No, really. Oh, another Pyrodamos. They're not that strong, though. Oh, he is already casting a fireball on me from, like, super far away. He's missing so much. Really now? This thing is just hating on me. Take him out. Just a crit for 270 damage. Oh no, I think this is a piercy guy. Wait, yeah. Why is this so easy? Miss Yuli, haha, uh, sucker. Meh. <laughs> Pretty knock out. And Yuli. Hmm. At least they snapped out of it. Now Yuli's gonna be healing everybody. 
destroyer ball. I don't think we've gotten one of those before. You've covered quite a bit of ground. Cedar, shrivel vine, palmwood. Palmwood's good. I guess the oak isn't terrible either. gather it seems so let's continue onward finally on to the next area I feel like we spent like two hours in that area actually I think we did spend about two hours in that area This is it? Yes. Sinka village at last. This is the place where it all began. Wow. Not much to look at, is it? We're here. That's strange. It feels familiar. Let's make camp here. Then I can explain everything. Huh. I hope so. So you ready to start explaining now? Yes, of course. Sorry. I was just collecting my thoughts. So, you wanted to know the truth. I will tell you about the night's greatest secret. Seventeen years ago, a massive earthquake struck, tearing the land asunder. The great gash it left in its wake came to be known as the Dogma Rift. Now, as it happens, Many ancient artifacts were uncovered from this rift. Among them, the armor and arc of the White Knight. However, amongst the artifacts, they found something far more incredible. Than the knights? Like what? Living children. Are you kidding? At the bottom of a giant hole in the ground? It was a miracle. Perhaps some frighteningly powerful magic had locked time, or frozen their bodies. In any case, it was as if time had stood still for them. The palace at the bottom of the Dogma Rift stood as clean and new as the day it had been built. Four infants were found inside, along with one youth. They were raised right here, in Sinka Village. A youth? Yes. With the babies, there was a young boy, five years of age. When the people of Sinka Village found the children, they chose to look after them themselves, believing they were a blessing, a gift from the gods. Hmm. I think I see where this is going. But those children represented a terrible secret. They were pact makers of the knights, right? Yes. Indeed. They were the five who gave their souls to the knights in the Dogma Wars. When the Sinka village headman learned the truth, he knew the five children could not be allowed to stay together for long. So, he set out to find foster parents for each of them. Wait, are you saying that the headman was... Medius. Yes, it was my father. Which means, me and... and Leonard, and Kara, were the babies that were found down in those ruins. That is correct. 
That's some coincidence for all of us to meet. It was no coincidence. All of you have been brought together deliberately. Someone wanted it that way. Deliberately? No way. Me going into the castle, finding the vault, seeing the knight? That was all just a fluke. Do you really think so? What if someone had set it up to happen? How could they? Someone has led you to where you are now. Someone wants the power of the knights to come together. Someone has been controlling you this entire time. <gasps> no! It can't be! It was you, Eldor, wasn't it? And the King of Balandor? Was that you too? <sighs> You're one of the Ancients, aren't you? Somehow you managed to cheat time and travel to this age. Am I right? It is as you say. I come from the era of the Dogma Wars. <laughs> I knew it. That explains a lot. No wonder you could escape my dragon sight. Still, I was not the one who killed the King of Balandor. No more of your lies, old man. Eldor... I trusted you! He got away. Eldor. No. Why would he do this? When all the knights come together, it is said the final awakening will begin, and with it the power to rule the entire world. He must know that as well as anyone. So Eldor was trying to conquer the world. I bet him and Grizel they were working together. Not necessarily. It could be that each of them had their own separate agenda. Ugh. <sighs> this is getting complicated. So, what's the plan now? We go to the Dogma Rift. The hole that opened up 17 years ago? Yes. One knight still remains inside. They say it is the greatest and most powerful knight of them all. I see. Adelmaya, ruler of daylight. Known in the Dogma Age as the Sun King. No matter what else happens, we mustn't allow Grizel to get his hands on it. But even if he did find it, there's nothing he can do without the Pact Maker, right? No. He himself will be able to use the power of that knight. What? Grizel is the chosen pact maker of the Sun King. He was the five-year-old boy who was discovered in the ruins. Grizel? A pact maker? He gets his hands on that power? We'll be in big trouble. Then let us hurry. We must head west to the Dogma Rift. In it lie the greatest ruins of the Dogma Age. All right. Ready for this? Yeah. Eldor. Hmm. I was one of the infants. I wonder, is Eldor really all that bad? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's equip this stuff here. So white steel is bad. Um. What do we got here? We have fireball work and knight's awakening. Don't really want either of those. Okay. So let's equip. Oops. Jumping the gun a little bit. Okay, Fiend Slayer, which gives you a lot more abilities and a lot more attack. Um, I 
guess that's a little bit more useful. What did I just find, though? Leonard Knight's Awakening. Ah. Okay, um... Is there any more treasure in this area? Mm, doesn't look like it. Well, let's double check. I thought there was like a vendor in this area too. Hmm. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. We finally made it to Sinka Village. So Grizel is a pack maker too? He sure is. I wonder if he'll get his hands on the Sun King. Knew there was a vendor. Could have just bought a partisan instead of crafting it. Damn it. Griever jacket. These are upgrades for you, Lee, but just not pretty enough though. Look at that. That's not pretty. Actually it's not terrible, but. What about scout armor? Well, that is kind of nice looking. <sighs> to spend all this money or not? Yeah, we will. We don't need the money anyway. Might as well get some upgrades. party's gotten awfully small now though, we only have uh, these four people with us now. So... Okay. Or actually... Let's enhance something to... There's a pretty in significant increase, but I think we can make a better axe, so there's no point in wasting money on enhancing that. And level 25 armor is not worth doing it on either. Um, okay, so we'll leave it as is then. We trusted him. Alrighty. Exit to the world map. We have access to the world map again. We do. Dogmorph has been unlocked. Lots of quests. I actually think, well, can we actually just go to Cinco Village from here? Yes, we can. Interesting. Um, the Wind Frocker. <laughs> Level 70. Anyways. What we'll do is we'll take a break here, and next time we'll head on into the Dogma Rift, which I think is the final 
one of the final areas or close to the final area. Um, but we'll take a look at it next time. So until then, thanks for watching.